Mache, hello. My name is Emma Morrison. I'm 22 years old and I'm a proud Mishkegwa Cree woman from Shapel Cree First Nation in Treaty 9 territory. However, I currently live in Algonquin territory because I live in our nation's capital city, Ottawa, Ontario. I've been independently living away from home for the past four years, receiving my education in Indigenous preparatory studies, tourism, aesthetics, and hair. Some of my hobbies include creating Indigenous arts, and staying on the powwow trail. Indigenous arts and crafts may look like creating indigenous beadwork and sewing traditional ribbon skirts and regalia. Beading is an indigenous craft where you hand stitch beads into the supplies needed to make your desired object. So I make authentic indigenous keychains, jewelry, and medallions. This could take a very long time and it's very tedious and requires a lot of patience. I also love to sew. I create traditional ribbon skirts for indigenous women to wear to feel beautifully empowered. My longest sewing project today was sewing my jingle dress regalia. I'm super proud of this accomplishment because I'm able to wear my own creation while dancing at powwows. I also love to stay involved and dig deep in my community. This may look like being a youth representative for my home reserve, Chapel Creek First Nation, where I'm able to attend annual general meetings to discuss community-wide issues and solutions in First Nation communities. I also love to set up vendors at powwows and various events selling my beadwork and ribbon skirts so I could donate 100% of the proceeds to charity. And lastly, my favorite community involvement activity was being a special guest at Jane's Bay Girls at Bat. This was a four day overnight camp retreat experience that was completely free for Jane's Bay Girls to come to Muskoka Woods and celebrate what it means to be indigenous. Here, we participate in cultural workshops, games, and developed peer connections, life goals, and personal skills. And one of my biggest passions is competing and staying involved in pageantry. My passion for pageantry began when I competed for and won the title of Miss Northern Ontario 2017. Then I was able to move forward to nationals, where I competed for and won the title of Miss Teenage Canada 2017. After this, I was graciously given the opportunity to represent Canada on the international stage in Mexico City at Miss Teenager Universe. Through this, I was able to share my love for my culture and advocate for Indigenous issues. Now, I am so excited to be competing at this year's Miss World Canada 2022 pageant. I'm looking forward to meeting all the chaperones, staff, and all my new pageant sisters. After taking four years off to pursue my education, I am thrilled to be re-entering the pageant scene. I am rested, rejuvenated, and ready to compete again.